So you probably clicked on this video thinking, Rob, you're fucking crazy. You're crazy. How is Unche the next great Maknae? What even is a Maknae? If you are a K-pop fan, click on this video, you know what a Maknae is. I'm gonna inform you, but like, damn. First of all, if you don't know what a Maknae is, it's the youngest in the group. It's like, as, I mean, it, it's a fixed position as well, I have to say. Kind of like a leader is the leader. Magne is the Magne. There's no changing that. There's no, oh, you became a better vocalist. Oh, you became a better dancer. Like, being the main dancer or being a main vocalist is something that can change over time. Even being a main rapper is something that can change over time. Because I can become a better rapper. I can become a better singer. I can become a better dancer if I just work. You know what I mean? But when you're like the Magne or the leader, that's something that's designated to you, right? Like, Magne, you're the literally the youngest. You cannot change that unless there is a younger member added to the group then it'll move, potentially. And sometimes even then, they're not even the Machne. It's like, you're still the Machne. But a Machne usually exhibits a few categories or a few qualities uh, in a group. That being the fact that they're normally the ones with the most energy. They have a very bright personality, um, whether it be bubbly, whether it be sometimes less bubbly. It's just very bright, it's in your face. Because most of the time they're the youngest in our generation. Uh, especially with a lot of groups debuting nowadays, normally Maknae's can be as young as 15 or as old as 19 or 20. It just depends on the group that's debuting. But normally they range from the, the 16 to 19 year old age range, um, which to a lot of people who listen to K-pop, which I think the main demographic of people listening to K-pop is from about 15 to 21, fits in their demographic. So Maknae is someone who you can normally relate to at least a little bit. But you always also kind of want to cheer for them too because they are the youngest and it's like oh watching their young person's dream like reach their dream and aspire for better goals even though like every single member in the group is doing that same thing it's like for some reason when it comes to a mock mate it's like you want to see them succeed because they're the youngest they're following their dreams they're dro they're enduring through schoolwork at the same time as being an idol you know what i mean Mockneys are normally like the wild card of the group. They can really do just about everything. They are usually pretty good at dancing, pretty good at rapping, pretty good at singing, and pretty good at stage uh, stage presence, and they normally have good personalities. So they're kind of just an all-around good threat on a team. You know what I mean? Um, the best Mockne out there, in my opinion, and the one that I'll probably use for the most examples is Jungkook from BTS. He's literally called the Golden Mockne for a reason. He's good at sports. He's got a great personality behind the scenes. He's funny. He's also an incredible dancer. One of the best live vocalists you'll hear in the industry. And he's even a good rapper. And he has really, really great stage presence. He's literally just good at everything. That's why they call him the Gold Machne. Now, I don't think Unche is going to reach Golden Machne levels. I think that's pretty, pretty high up. I don't think that's going to happen. But I do think Unche is probably the best Machne out right now from a lot of the newer groups because she kind of just embodies what a Machne is supposed to be. And her being such a good Machne actually attributes to how good the chemistry is within Le Seraphim as a group in general. Like, Le Seraphim is probably the rookie group out there that I would say has the best chemistry already. That's why I stand them out of all the rookie groups, is because they're very fun behind the scenes to watch. They're a very funny group. They look like they get along with each other. They look like they're basically best friends. And Unche and her Machne energy is what kind of adds to that it's kind of the same for what jungkook did for bts early on in their careers and why a lot of people started listening to bts's music is not because their music was all that amazing their music compared to a lot of other groups at the time especially a lot of other boy groups was actually pretty mid when they first debuted and for the first couple of years the difference and the reason why a lot of people started listening to bts is because their members were funny and they were very likable you wanted to root for bts because they were a bunch of underdogs and they were a bunch of underdogs that had great personalities and were funny. And that's the same thing for Le Seraphim. I don't think Le Seraphim is full of a bunch of underdogs necessarily, but they're full of a bunch of very likable members that all contribute greatly in the group. And Unche's Machne personality contributes a lot towards the group. It helps balance it out. First of all, Unche is already very talented in her own right. She's already a pretty decent sub-vocalist. Again, she's not necessarily a vocal specialist or anything. At this point, she's really kind of there for ad-lib sections or very short pre-chorus sections or very, very short verse sections. 
she kind of has this unique deeper register to her voice it's not necessarily very deep like a v from bts but it's just on the deeper end especially for female idols which does help balance out the group a little bit in vocal tonality um it helps counterweight a, a sakura you know what i mean kazua also has not a deeper registry but definitely deeper compared to some of the other members as well one thing she's already pretty proficient at herself is dancing and you kind of heard a little bit about this in the documentary they did but she already came into the group as someone who did dancing on the side so she's already a pretty good dancer in her own right so there's no real issues there and she does seem to be getting a lot better in stage presence if you go watch like some of her first performances and then her performances now you can already see the growth that is there the best maknae's are the ones that are able to translate how they act off stage on stage and blend it with uh performing on stage you know what i mean like jungkook did a lot with uh kind of his personality i actually think j-hope did it a lot with his personality he brought a lot of it off stage on stage and it helps a lot it helps with stage presence and kind of you know projecting yourself on stage and i think unche is already doing a lot of that and uh, you know she's only like 16 so she's still got a long road ahead of her in the idol industry you know especially saying as how successful the seraphim already is so there's no you know disbandment questions surrounding the group or anything so she has plenty of future ahead of her so if she can just even start marginally increasing how good of an idol she is you know when it comes to stage presence and dancing and singing it'll be pretty scary for some other people because she's already very likable she already is a very funny person she radiates very much gen z energy like i find a lot of stuff that she does very humorous and relatable it could be like something i could see myself doing when i was 16 you know what i mean so like maknae's are very relatable and she has this very relatable personality um a lot of people in the seraphim really do uh but especially unche has a very relatable personality and i do think that if you really just get her a great vocal coach someone who can kind of expand her boundaries with singing because right now she is primarily just a dancer is what it feels like then i think that you do have some legitimate talent there that can really be tapped into and i think there is a vacant spot right now for who is the best young maknae out there and i think if i were to give it to someone i would probably give it to her because she's the most fun to watch now there are plenty of other groups with plenty of other maknae's and if you enjoy them and think that there someone else is the next great maknae that's perfectly okay you know what i mean like you know I, again i think it's mainly a subjective thing you can have a completely different opinion than me and that's perfectly fine but you know take he in from new jeans or lee so from ive and compare them to unche you know which one is the maknae out of all of those a good one to compare is like dreamcatcher i listen to guyon is the maknae of that group but it's mainly because you know guyon at this point is matured a lot you know she's not a kid anymore like when she debuted in the group but you know she still can act at times a lot more mature than some of her other members even around her and I don't really think Gaian emanates Machne energy to me like Unche emanates Machne energy. Now, again, you know, Gaian is older now. She's not as young as when she debuted. Dreamcatcher has been a group now for five plus, you know, over five years now. So it's perfectly understandable for her not to act like that anymore. You know, Jungkook doesn't act like a fucking Machne kid anymore. You know what I mean? But there's still like this aura, this Machne aura that surrounds Jungkook as where Guy and it just doesn't really emanate as much from her because she just doesn't really give off that energy. It's not a bad thing by any means. I'm someone who's uh, grown to uh, kind of appreciate Guy and more as a Dreamcatcher fan over the last year or so um because she does do a lot of stuff for the group she's an overall great uh member for the group that does a lot is a good dancer is a good singer is a good you know a pretty decent rapper with some untapped potential so um she is a good member it's just like if you really take like unche and Gaian and tell me like which one's the maknae i'm gonna point towards unche because she acts like a maknae whether unche is the next great maknae or not uh, in reality it doesn't really matter it's all just a pointless debate it's a pointless video for me to make but i'm making it anyway because i feel like it but uh yeah tell me what you guys think do you like unche i fucking adore her if you hurt her i will find you okay and i'm acting as a parent figure here i'm acting as a as a as a parent role model here if you hurt her i will literally come and i will forcibly make you step on legos anyway um don't take this video too seriously i'll see you guys in the next one